as you can see, there's still lots to do, but it's just part of getting the classroom all ready and prepped for the school year. But today is Saturday. I am going in. I don't know when they close. I hope they don't close too early. Good morning, today is Friday, August 17, 2018. This morning, as you saw, I went to Publix to pick up some items for breakfast for my team, and I just set it up on my kidney table. I mean, I haven't opened anything yet because I'm waiting for them to come in. That's just a regular normal bell. And after coming up to my classroom, I realized I left some bags in the car that I need to get, so I'm gonna go and do that now. But first, let me show you the breakfast setup so far. So as you saw, I got some plain bagels and three different types of cream cheese. I got the whipped ones, got strawberries and bananas, plates and utensils. And I also have paper towels that I need to get out. And another team member brought orange juice and cups. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice meeting this morning. It starts at nine. Right now it's about almost 8.30. And I'm gonna get that in the car. All right, so let me get that and I'll see you later. All right, so the last time you saw me, I went to my car to grab some other bags that I left in the trunk. And then we started having our meeting and eating breakfast, which lasted about two hours. Not that our meeting was two hours. Our meeting was actually like an hour and 15 minutes or so, but we were eating breakfast and talking and things like that, but we're done. And then I had to go to the book room to distribute some other books and put some books back in and make sure the teachers were ready for next week, share my lesson plan activities for the first week, which I shared with you in a previous vlog. And then we continue to work in our room. I haven't really done much. I do have to clear the table from the breakfast. I have to do a little bit more cleaning up. I'm about to set up my essential oils diffuser and I just printed my parent sign-in sheet for the drop-in, which is happening in 40 minutes. And I haven't even put my makeup on yet, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my makeup on right now. I'm thinking of putting my little curtain on the window and locking my door so I can have a couple of minutes to do that for myself because the parents are gonna start coming in to meet me and drop off supplies and things like that. So let me get to doing that and I'll see you later. Oh, but before I go, let me show you the parent drop-in signing sheet that I put together. So this is the sign-in sheet that I am giving to my parents so that they can sign in when they come in. So they'll write their student's name, they'll print their name, sign, give me some contact information, and tell me how their child goes home. I have the same thing on the back just in case I have multiple parents coming in today. But this is what I'm going to keep by the door along with my pen. Now, truthfully, I would have bought some Tootsie Pops and did that little sign that says, thanks for popping in. I wanted to do it, but as you all know, I left last night at 9.30 p.m. and I didn't get a chance to do that. I was dead tired, and this morning, it completely slipped my mind when I was at Publix. I could have just bought some Pops, but you know what? It's fine. I can do it for open house. All right, so let me get to working. Oh, and by the way, I did install the outlet for my fireplace and I did put my lamp that I had in the same spot. Last year I put it in the same spot again. This year, tell me how it looks in the comments down below, but here it is. Check out the fireplace and that's the lamp I'm talking about. I had it there last year and I think it looks fine and my fireplace looks amazing. And this is the outlet that I got, I mean for now, because I couldn't get the one with the flat end yet. I will later, but for now, I have that one. That one works for me. That's the one that I picked up at Target for like nine bucks. So I really don't like how my little chalkboards look here. I think they look too busy 
and over here too. So I'm gonna take those out and put them maybe around the computer area once I set it up the way that I want to. But yeah, for the most part, my room is pretty cleared. I'm going to put the chair pockets on the chairs in a few minutes. And I'm gonna start changing all the pillows into the correct covers for them because I do have them, I got those washed. And eventually I'll put those books away. As you can see, there's still lots to do but it's just part of getting the classroom all ready and prepped for the school year. The school will open tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. I may or may not come in. We'll see, I'm just gonna play it by ear. But yeah, all right, so let me get going, put on some makeup and I'll see you later. All right, so I actually didn't have time to put on my makeup, but I opened the door for my parents and I am diffusing my essential oils and I have classical music playing as well. Another thing that I put next to the signing sheet was the supply list. So we are ready to welcome parents and students for a drop-in day. Here we go. All right, so I basically have done a couple of things today. You saw me do the speed through of me putting the covers on the pillows for the classroom library area. You also saw me do a speed through of me putting the chair pockets on the chairs and also setting up our classroom computer area. I moved the little chalkboards that are colorful that I had around on the library area to the computer area after you saw the speed through, so I'll show you that right now. And I also moved the glow from where I had it to another place. But first, I wanna show you what I wasn't able to accomplish today because we had a meeting this morning that was two hours long, and then I had to do more things with the textbooks to make sure that teachers had everything they needed, and we also had the parent drop-in for two hours. So let me show you what I haven't been able to do yet that I need to do. The good thing is that the school will be open tomorrow, Saturday, so I will be coming to set up whatever is the last minute things that I need to do. So this is what I haven't been able to do yet, and then I'll show you what I was able to complete that looks great here we go so here's my teacher desk area and it is a royal mess so this is definitely one of the things that i want to make sure it's done and complete tomorrow i still need to find my cables for my document camera they're probably home i just haven't been able to find it and i haven't found the remote for my led lights at the bottom of the board all right this area over here hasn't even been bothered with other than me giving away more things and this area also needs to be taken care of. That food stuff I'm gonna take with me right now. And all the stuff that I gave away is gone. I need to put these things in the bathroom right now because we don't have any toilet paper, but I got some. So let's see what I was able to do that looks pretty decent. So this area over here looks good. So this, this area and this. And over here, these are the materials that I need to fill the art caddies with. So I just left it there so I can have it ready. My teacher lad center is good. 
You also saw me move the desk over, so now there's more space here between the teacher-led desk and the student desk. I may not leave the carts like this for now, and they still have my things in there, so I have to see if maybe I have time tomorrow to get that done. These are school supplies that the students started bringing today, except for that. That's for my wand project and my cards and all that stuff. I have to find a home for that. I still need to put these books away and move the books where they need to go. And you saw how I change all the covers. I love these colors and they match with the rest of the boards and my houses. So now there's a more cohesive look here. And I moved the globe over here. I put Hedwig back in her cage and everything else here. I did put these little character figures in here. I got these from Target. I am leaving them in the box just for display. And Hagrid is over here. Here is where I moved the little chalkboard. So I put the red one here, the blue in between these two computers, the green in between these two computers, and the purple one here. I put all the Funko figures back here for now. Maybe they'll stay there, who knows. And I turned on my lamp and I did adjust the cables and everything. The cables that are dangling tomorrow when I have a chance, I'm just gonna put them in the part of the back of the table where you can hide them so that they're not dangling on the floor. But yeah, this is basically looking really well. And for the most part, the room is pretty ready for the first day of school. I just have to do last minute organizations and putting things together where they need to go, but it's not a big to do. All right, so I'm not going to end the vlog just yet. I'm just going to continue filming tomorrow when I come to school and just put this as a two-day vlog. All right, so that's it for now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Saturday, August 18, 2018. And I forgot to mention earlier in my vlogs that this whole week, and I know you're gonna watch this after this week is done, but this whole week has been palindrome week. That means you can read the date forwards and backwards and it's the same thing. Very cool fact. All right, so the school is open today, Saturday and tomorrow, Sunday. I hope to not go in tomorrow, Sunday because I just wanna take it easy and rest and I really need it because I feel like I'm getting sick but got to take care of myself. But today is Saturday. I am going in. I don't know when they close. I hope they don't close too early. I mean, if I don't get to everything I want to do today is fine. I just want to organize my desk area and try to tackle that clutter pile in the back of the classroom as best as I can and also try to put the books in the order that they go because the letters are mismatched because of how we move the bookshelves around earlier in the week but it's okay we're gonna get it done as much as we can right now it's 9 19 in the morning I wanted to go earlier but I've been so tired I'm still tired but I'm gonna get this done my mom is actually coming with me to help me because I cannot find my cables to my document camera. My dad was so kind to buy me some new cables to replace those and we ordered them on Amazon. They should be coming in tomorrow and Monday, but I really need to find those cables because I use my document camera from day one. So we'll see about that. I also can't find my remote for my LED lights at the bottom of my whiteboard in front of the classroom. So I hope to find those as well. But again, those are minor things. We'll get it sorted out. It will be worked out. It'll be fine. So today before I leave, I wanna make sure I put the papers that the students are gonna work on as soon as they come into the classroom. I'm gonna put some new pencils on their desk. I'm thinking about maybe giving them two pencils and I'll show you which ones those are. I already showed you the fabulous fourth grade pencils, but there's one more pencil I'm thinking of giving them. And then I, think I will be done for today hopefully so we'll see how much I get done and I'll show you the progress of my day so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get going and then I'll catch you when I get there I just got to my classroom and I'm going to try to get done as much as I can get done it's almost 10 15 and I just found out from the head custodian that the school will actually close at 2 so I'll just do as much as I can starting with putting the things on the student's desk and things like that so that they're ready for Monday morning and just doing a little bit of organization here and there. The bulk of it being that back corner, I don't know where I'm gonna put all this stuff though. So I'm gonna have to be creative with that. There's a lot of hidden places that you don't see that like inside my cabinets, for example, that I have to do a lot of organizing. I don't think I'm gonna get to that today. So I'm gonna try to do a lot of the visible organization first and then i'll eventually get to the hidden organization later on when i have some time but i also need to organize my teacher area 
and yeah that's about it i'm really digging this corner i think i'm going to start with the books though i'm going to start with the books organize the books in the bookshelves and then i'll feel a little bit better about that and put the books that haven't been put back yet all right so let me do that and i'll catch you later As you saw from the speed through, I was able to organize the books the best way that I could. I did start here from A all the way through Z. I do have some leftover space, but that's okay because we may have more books added. Or later on, I can move them around and use the spaces for in-between displays of different books that I want to feature. So that's one thing that we were able to do. Another thing that we did was my mom helped me clean out the little snack containers from Dollar Tree so that I can put the new 24 pack of crayons in there. And we also cleaned out the art caddies so that we could restock them with crayons and new markers. So let me show you how those look right now. So these are the leftover snack containers that I have on the side. I'll use those for other things. There's nothing wrong with having extra snack packs because you can use them for many different things. And here are the new art caddies. I only have five teams, but I do have an extra one just in case I could use it myself or anything. But each art caddy has two of these little snack packs with a brand new 24 pack of crayons. And I also included the eight count of the multicolor crayons for skin colors. And on the back, I split up the Crayola markers. These are the 10 packs. So I put all the warm colors together all the cool colors together. I put the pink one here because it's between cool and warm, whatever. And all the, these other colors here together. So each team now has a newly restocked art caddy that they can use for the different projects that I will have them do this year. Now, I wanna show you something that I was working with. I have been having an idea of what to do with the frames, the picture frames that I have around in my classroom library area. So let me show you what my idea is. And so far, almost the end product of it, because now I have to cut them out and put them in the frames, but check it out. So since the frames are in the library area around that section there, I decided to use a different Harry Potter character and a quote that they say and the book that they set it in. So here is Albus Dumbledore. I also included, and that's the quote. I love this quote. Actually, I love all the quotes here. Here is Professor McGonagall. Here is Snape. And the pages are stuck together. One second. Here's a quote from Sirius Black. And I really wanted to include this one from Harry himself. So now I'm gonna cut these out and put them in the frames and we'll see how they look all put together around the library area. done at the end i realized that i had done harry as a five by seven when his frame is actually a four by six but these are the frames so check it out so this is harry and here's sirius and snape mcgonagall and dumbledore and yes i did the quotes in cursive on purpose because my fourth graders need to learn cursive so hopefully this will give them a little bit of an incentive to want to learn cursive so they can read these quotes. I'm pretty sure they'll figure out what they read anyway. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the library area and then I'll show you how they look once they're there. Check it out, it looks amazing. I think it's so proper that Harry is right next to Hedwig. And over here in the corner, we have 
McGonagall, Dumbledore, and Snape. You saw me in the video put tape on the back of the Dumbledore frame because it didn't have little securing things at the bottom to keep the frame popped in. So I just put black paper tape around it so that it can like just stay in there and it's not popping out. So yeah, that's the corner there. And here is the Sirius Black frame with his quote. I absolutely love how it looks. Let me give you a pan view of the library with these new frames on there. Like now it looks like it's getting more put together. So I'm very excited. Check it out. Super cool. All right, now let me start putting the papers and the things that the kids need for the first day. So at least that's ready. And I need to sharpen some pencils to do that as well. So let me get that going. The students thus now have the personality quiz so that they can be sorted into their houses. The welcome to fourth grade trivia that also has this scavenger hunt on the back. They got a bookmark that says reading is magical and they got two pencils. One says fabulous fourth grader and the other one says, whoops, the other way, this is a magic wand. And this pencil I got from fourteachersonly.com. You can personalize pencils and I personalized this one. I think the gross, which is 144 pencils, came out to like 20 or $23, something like that. And all of the desks have their papers all ready for Monday, first day of school. As soon as the students come in, they have a pencil ready to go so that they can start working on these activities until I'm ready to start the day. So yeah, I'm very excited that that is done. I mean, I haven't been able to do other things. I'm gonna see how much more I can do, especially when it comes to my teacher desk area, that thing there, yeah. So I have completed a couple of things that I wanted to do today, so I'm pretty good, I feel good, I feel confident. And I have to remind myself, not everything has to be 100% on the first day. You can keep doing little things here and there, and that is perfectly fine. Now, for the pencils, I am gonna make them the pencil magic ones that I did in a video, and I'll tag it up here so that you can see how I turned a black Ticonderoga pencil into a Harry Potter-inspired magic wand. Those will take me a little longer to do. So what I'm planning to do with that is I'm going to have a wand ceremony at one point or another where they will pick their wands randomly and everyone will get their wand, etc. So yeah, I'm going to plan something fun to do with that. So let me see what else I'm going to get done before I leave and I'll catch up with you later. And I have to give a shout out to my sister-in-law Ellie for making all these vinyls on her Cricut for me to display on my board. And I was inspired by another teacher on Instagram, which I'll link down below and I'll probably scroll her name down on the bottom of this clip. But I love how she used icons next to the letters for each subject on her whiteboard. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do with these. There's a lot of different things that I'm gonna be putting around my board. So first I'm gonna put them on there and then I'll show you how it looks. So thank you, thank you Ellie for doing this for me. This is amazing and you rock. All right, so the vinyls didn't work exactly how I wanted to. I tried to put it on the board and it just didn't work. Once it stuck to the board, as I kept pulling the transfer paper, it brought up the rest of the letter and it warped it and over here it got torn up. So I'm going to just wait on plan B. So I'm going to hold off on these for now. I just finished putting together the Magic of Growth Mindset poster set from Building Book Love. And they look amazing here. And I also ended up and changed my letter boards to magic quotes. So magic is something you make. You are magic. Also... I changed the other letter board that I had here in the classroom library and I put magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can do anything. So let me show you from far away how this one over here looks because it looks amazing over here. Check it out. 
And as you can see, it looks amazing. I still have to finish putting my desk area together. I'm gonna clear this off before I leave. But, oh, and back here, I haven't been able to do much right now. I'll probably try and see what I can do before I leave. But I am planning to come in tomorrow for little bit finishing touches. I mean, I feel pretty good about how the room is coming together and how it looks now, so it's good. It's just doing some finishing touches and then I'll continue to do that as the week goes on once school starts. I did find some calendar headings in my bag here of different bulletin board stuff. So I chose to go with these. They have the same kind of pattern and they change colors every month, but now it's set to the 20th. I'll write the date there on Monday. That eventually will have my schedule cards. We are still waiting on schedules to be given to us. And these are supplies that the kids dropped off yesterday that I need to put away eventually. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've been able to do so far. Don't know if I'm gonna do anything else, but I won't finish off until I'm getting ready to leave. So let me see what I get to do and I'll show you what I accomplish. So here you go. All right, so I'm actually heading out. I'm wrapping up. I wasn't able to do much, but at least I pushed some of the stuff off to the side. So this is where they're gonna put their book bags in the bins. I pushed that off to the side to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. This still needs to get done. This is just trash. This is just a garbage bag, my recycling bin, these bags need to be put away, and my teacher desk needs to be done. And these books belong in this bookshelf here, along with all my teacher editions. So that's it, I mean, I've been able to do a lot, so I'll see if I can come tomorrow. If I can't, then I'll just do stuff on Monday before the kids come in, because I have to be here super early since my son goes to high school across the street, but we have to go because the building's closing. It's already 4 p.m., so we were able to stay a little longer than expected. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile. I'll see you next time.